In this problem, we've been asked to graph the line y equals 2x minus 3. This equation is written in what's called slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is right here, this y equals mx plus b. It's when the y is by itself on the left-hand side. The term with the x is first on the right-hand side, followed by the constant term. When it's written in slope-intercept form, you can look at the number in front of the x. This is your slope of the line. The slope of a line is rise over run. It tells you how steep the line is. And we can tell based on the sign of the slope what direction the line is going to go in. So if your slope is positive, that means your y values are increasing as x increases. So it's going to go up to the right. If your slope is negative, that means your y values are decreasing, so it's going to go down to the right. If your slope is zero, that just means your y values are not changing, so it's just going to be a horizontal line. And if your slope is undefined, it's a vertical line. So what I usually do when I'm graphing a line in slope-intercept form is I start with the b. You can think of the b as where to begin on the graph, where to start. The y-intercept is just where the line crosses the y-axis. So if we look at our equation, we have a minus 3 at the end. That tells us that our b value is negative 3. So we can begin our graph going down 3 from the origin. So we're going to start at negative 3 on the y-axis. This is the y-intercept where it crosses the y-axis. The m is how to move to the next point on the line. So in our case, we have a 2 in front of the x. That means our m is 2, our slope is 2. It's positive. That means that my graph is going to be going up to the right. And I know that slope is rise over run. So it helps when you're graphing if your slope is written as a fraction. If it's not written as a fraction, you can always turn it into a fraction by just dividing by 1. Dividing by 1 doesn't change this. 2 divided by 1 is still 2. So if I know my slope is a positive 2 over 1, I'm going to be going up to the right. The 2 is the rise. So from this point, I'm going to go up 2. And the run is 1, so I'm going to go over 1 to the right. And if you want to do it again and get a couple extra points on your graph, you can. So I can go up 2 again, over 1. This gives me 3 points on my line. So all that's left to do for this one is to just draw a straight line that goes through these points. So here's the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. It had a minus 3, so we started down at negative 3. And the slope was a positive 2, so we went up 2 over 1. Let's look at one more. In this equation, we have y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2. So I would start with the y-intercept, the b, it tells me where to begin on the graph. I have a positive 2 at the end, so that means my b value is a positive 2. That tells me I can begin the graph by going up 2 from the origin. So this is my y-intercept, my graph crosses the y-axis at a positive 2. The number in front of the x is a negative 1 fourth, that tells me that my m is negative 1 fourth, that's my slope. It's a negative, so that tells me my line is going to be going down to the right. And I can think of the 1 as the rise and the 4 as the run. So since it's negative, I need to go down 1 instead of going up 1. I'm going to go over 4 to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So from the y-intercept, my line's going down to the right. It went down 1 over 4. If you want to do another point on there going the other way, you can go up 1, but then you'll have to make sure you go to the left 4 so that the overall direction of your line is going down to the right. So now on this line, all that's left to do is to connect the dots with a straight line. So this is the graph of y equals negative 1 fourth x plus 2. I started at 2, that's my y-intercept. My slope was negative, so my line's going down to the right, and it's going down 1 over 4.